Greetings and welcome to Florence Ballard A3060, home of the Hot Point 9530A, Miele W562 washing machines and the greatest groups of the 1960s, the Beach Boys and the Supremes. And you fell there. <laughs> hey guys, so second video of today and the final one for the, tonight. We're now moving on to the Hot Point 9530. Uh, today we're doing a load of bedding and a uh, sort of medium load of towels. But, I know we're always doing a towel wash, it's pretty much the most common wash I film in this machine. But, however, there's something new about today. I'm using a very recently released to the market detergent. Personal Power Gems. I've got the non-bio, uh, biological version. And I'm going to be giving this a, a test on, um, obviously, a load of bedding and towels. My bedding and one of mum's sheets and a bath sheet as well. And some other tea towels and whatnot. On program one, 85 degrees Celsius, white cotton. My favourite load to do. I haven't even opened this yet, I've had this for about the past month. So, um, I thought I'd do a, you know, I wanted to do a video of the 9530 for the end of the month or so. Um, and this detergent was actually requested to be used by my good friend Dean, who, uh, he's not on YouTube, but I talked to him on Instagram. Um, so we always talk about detergents and whatnot, and we talk about washing we do each day. So he requested that I use this. There was a user who requested bedding on, I can't remember what, who it was. There was a, I think it was Kyle Williams or someone. I can't remember the user. He did request I do bedding in this, a full load of bedding. But he said to do it on program four, 50 degrees Celsius coloured synthetics. And of course I don't wash my bedding below 60. I always wash my bedding on 85. So I thought, well, I'll do it. But, you know, I thought he didn't tell what cycle he wanted. So like, no, I asked him if there's another cycle you want, and, but anyway, um, so I've not opened this, so I know Dean, I know Dean wants me to open it up and smell it on camera, so, first time I think you've got to squeeze the cap. Ready? Oh my gosh, they smell amazing. That's like, that's like going into a commercial, no, that's like going into like a hotel laun laundromat. Or like, you know when you go into a hotel room and they've just cleaned like the bathroom or not. Oh my, oh that's lovely. They're like sort of plastic pellets in a way, they look like. Right, apparently as well they're meant to be very high suds, and we'll see the hot point. Nothing ever foams up in that machine except for Omo on the spins. But that's on a 60 degree wash, so I want to get loading the machine and we'll see what happens. But we'll do a high angled view for loading. Also, has anyone noticed anything different about this machine? Have you not noticed it seems a little bit more shiny here? Okay, so when I went to the laundry centre for a wash in, as you all know, the people who know Hot Point history, the proud door models that aren't chrome doors were released with a gloss door, be it bronze or brown. This machine originally had one which I foolishly destroyed when you know, I smashed it when I moved that, that heavy TV that I couldn't move. And it broke the original door here. Now obviously I've got a replacement model door which wasn't the official door for it, but Chris had one spare. So this is from a 9320W, the sort of matching dryer, but it's not the same colour. But however, what I have done, if you I don't know if you're able to see it, and if you can see, if I take the camera off the tripod quickly, I've actually put the original date date sticker back on the machine. So that's the date code. Obviously, I don't need anyone to date that because I know that's April 1986. So mine, as I said, mine's the very first one off the production line, probably. I don't know if, any, if there's any way anyone can work out the, the batch number or whatnot, production line number. So anyway, line scale tablet in the machine. Let's get loading. I'm going to sneeze, hang on. <coughs> so sorry, YouTube audience terrible hay fever, but I think it's dust that's gotten to me. Mum's sheet. She won't be happy, she knows I put a lot on 85. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, it's got two of her sheets in it. 
God, I hope all this is gonna fit. Well, I'll get my, I've gotta get my bedding in as well. Okay, let me get, let me make sure I get my bedding in first. Of course though, the machine's gonna look full, but when it fills up with water, because it fills up with so much water, it obviously, now the only thing with washing bedding and towels that I find is that the towels tend to get tangled up inside the bedding. Um, we had quite a bad incident on a live stream that I did once where a bath sheet got tangled up in a towel and put it this way, when the machine went into final spin, the concrete weight hit the, ch the ch chassis of the machine. All you heard was like a bonk sound like that. And I was like, I know what that was. Uh, I'm afraid all this ain't gonna fit in. <laughs> so I just gotta make sure I get the bedding in. Um, uh, what else can I chuck in? I suppose we're just chucking a few tea towels and whatnot, maybe. It'll all get compacted down anyway. And I so I've got more towels in my room that will need washing anyway, though. So yeah, that'll do. Nice full load of bedding and towels. Actually, no. To be honest, that might be too full. Um, I can't find another. I'll chuck in the J cloths and whatnot. I know Mum always likes them being washed, so. Yeah, that's all. That's my all summer long bedding, as I call it. Hence, we can hear the door sounds a bit different on the machine. Oh, hang on. You went to put the personal power gems in there, weren't you? So just push that down a bit. Okay. So remove the outer cap is what you need. The required line. I'm getting used to using these lines. Should you do? Should you do a full load of it? I can't remember if any other YouTube users have used these. My leg feels like it's better. So we'll do that. What do you place? Center of the laundry. All right. I'm putting plastic in the machine, it doesn't seem right. All right. Conditioner, same as what we use in the Miele, Comfort Intense Tropical Punch, Ultra Concentrated. Sorry about the TV seeming like it's very loud. We've got the hot water going as well, so what's the time now? All oh, 22.52 and I'm starting this machine, this machine's going on until midnight. Also, you might have noticed that I didn't have to pull this drawer. I've taken the lugs out like um, Chris told me about. So now look at the drawer, it just closes like that. Rather than me having to pull it, because you might not be able to see it, but there it got chipped. It, it cracked where I was turning it. Okay, so set the program. Program one, 85 degrees Celsius white cotton. No option, let's start. It's interesting to see the performance of these, and I've got a nice towel load saved for another day. <clears throat> right, so this will be very interesting to see how this goes. As it takes time to fill on this. We're probably going to get a bit of a cabinet jerk when it goes into tumbling. Now I love doing videos of the hot point. It will, it will take its time to fill though, I will tell you that. You can see, you can see it's a gloss door and it's got more scratches on it, but it makes the machine look more aged and I like that, I like that. Oh, 
Are we at the bottom of the drum yet? I can't see. Oh, and I think I just saw it. The bottom is it. But it won't get sudsy just yet. Yeah. Oh, did you see that? Did you see the drum drop there a bit though? Of course it's getting a bit steamed up as well. <clears throat> so apologies for the poor lighting, I am gonna actually get my light off I think. Click half load level. Here we go, get ready for it. But just nothing's too much of a geez. There we are. Oh, I love the springs. <laughs> okay, so the the pod the the We'll be mixing in now. That's just because half the towels are like wet and the others aren't. But I think it's better that it tumbles and fills together, then it sort of like absorbs it all. They are, that's the. And that'll be them in the wash now. I bet, I bet you anything, I'm going to lose the. Um... Oh, it is foaming. It always gets foamy at the start though. Mind you, that's filling with like 60 degree water, that is. Yeah, I can feel the humidity coming out of the drawer. God, that is a lot of <laughs> springs twanging. <laughs> I might have actually put a bit too much in there, actually. I don't know, the towels will compress it down, though. Look, we are getting, we are getting some tumbling now. That's one thing I like the machine though, it adds a lot of water. Whoa! You just need to take those J cloths in though. It is killing the suds though, I told you, it's denaturing the detergent. I was right about it, I knew it would do that. Oh, hang on. That waited a bit though. Now we're getting some tumbling now. I reckon I might have overloaded that there. Maybe the bath sheet shouldn't have gone in. But well, mind you, we are getting some tumbling now though. That's gonna be one hell of a suds lock when that spins, I'll tell you that now. That's gonna be one hell of a suds lock. See how the suds go right down though. That's one thing. This machine will actually um, it will actually top off if it needs to. There we go, we're getting some tumbling now. <clears throat> there you are, there's the cap there. There you are, did you hear it? <clears throat> oh that's twanging going on there. <clears throat> it's bending guitar. Oh, it's hitting the door. There you are, there's the bath sheet. You can see it all over it, actually. <clears throat> well, I've got the feeling that water's going to turn like a dark blue colour. But it normally towels do it. Hang on, three, two, one, and we stop. That's, some mothers do have them in the background. That is actually tumbling pretty well, actually. God, this is Suspension on that sounds horrible. Already heating as well. Look at that though, hardly any suds, only when it tumbles. sheets in there, wow. That is a lot for that hot point, I'm telling you, it takes a lot, this machine. God, 
condition sounds horrible. And guys, we have reached 85 degrees Celsius now. Detergent is practically fully detergent in ages. Um, now, and we've got steam coming out the drawer as well. Um, you should have heard it when it was doing the heat retaining stage. It was uh, the heating stage. The springs were twanging like mad. I'm using my torch. You can hear it a bit anyway. So it, it foams up when it tumbles, but as soon as it stops, then it just basically goes down. Nice mix of colours in there, though. That water's probably filthy in there. You can tell the colour of it. <laughs> Smells definitely like personal down there, though. Okay. We are now on the uh, second, well, on the first heat retaining stage now. So after program two. Kitchen smelling like Purcell. See, it rests a lot more, the machine. <clears throat> kind of like water. <clears throat> now I say this must be the cleanest 9.5 series out there because it always does 60 degrees and boil washers. I don't know if we can catch any of the... Maybe we can catch any of it coming out of the drawer. What a crazy spin that is. retained at stage now. You can see we stick to regular tumbles on this though. If I get my iPhone to record. Distribution drain, guys. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> so the foam really builds up. That is well on balance, that is. That is going to be scary when that spins. Interlock is buzzing like mad. Wow. Spins like that, we're going to have a jumping spin we are. I've never heard it continuously buzz like that. Yeah, 
reckon that first spin is going to be crazy. Is okay. First rinse. Here we go. I feel like the excitement building up. The nerves. Just going to clean off this room on that. Oh great! I'm after taking in the condition of my accident. No, I didn't. I didn't open it far enough for it to do that. Cold water immediately going into hot. And it's just like, yeah. jump up. Foam's building up. Okay, we're almost at full level. Might immediately go into drain that. There we are. Okay, we're reached full level. Oh god. This is this this is scary this is actually. gonna happen. Get ready for a sus lock guys though. Oh it's unbalanced. I've got my iPhone. Water's turned blue. It's a bluey grey colour. Yeah, that's gonna move. Wow. 
it looks on balance, but it's not too. But one of the spins probably is going to be on balance because it's a very unhealthy mix in there. Oh my god! Jesus Christ! <laughs> We're getting another soft spot. Who's trying to do 600? Jesus, that scared the hell out of me like that. Because I went into the other room and didn't know it was. Oh, uh, yeah, again, I know on the final spin it won't make it down. Spin fill in a way. Okay, second rinse. Alright, we're on the second rinse now. I've uh, got my mammoth now, so we've got better recording. You can actually record the dark one, you can see. Look. Oh, so it's actually quite nice recording the dark, to be honest. <clears throat> My bedding is like taken over the front of the machine, so Like though it looks like my bedding is taken over the front of the machine. Look at the water running off the side. Yeah. Because the door glass is fully like circular, it's flat, you know, it's not got a curve at the top, it's why the low doesn't really like adjust itself too much. Um, I think it's gonna be after this spin, after this tumble. I just wanted to get better lighting in it, I didn't want that. Let's have a look. Uh oh. Yeah, that doesn't count. Maybe, it might be right. It's like 10 degrees coming out of the machine. Oh no, that is unbalanced. Yeah, that is unbalanced. Yeah, that is. <laughs> Oh my god, that is unbalanced. <gasps> Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's asking for it. To be honest, that actually did move a little bit, I was like, slightly, but it, it did move. You can see the light really catches on the door now. I've got half the trying to get the light right. It's, I can't get I can't get it fully in front of the machine, sadly. It's as much as I can get it. It's not a plug. The machine's gonna spin, I don't want to be in front of it. Bad up here, mate, there we go. There we go, down the machine. Not to juggle. Hey, you can put this slug in very silly ways. Get something out of the way. Alright, it's on balance. Just how I remember the 9.5 series. I was like looking at the camera, but then I pressed record after that. Oh. It is 
trying to move, yeah. This is where I can almost get this to go to, go to the thousand if I turn the timer, look. I don't know why, because Chris's one doesn't do that, and we actually tried it on video. Probably can't see it, the machine's actually shaking quite a bit. Oh, bit of a thump there from the door seal. We'll have to look into why it does that. I don't know if it's got a replacement timer or something. But even still, it, shouldn't, it should not be able to do that. And all the second intermediate spins of all the sections of the time it does that. A bit of a funny moment. I uh, had to stop the machine and unload it because all the load had gone inside my duvet cover. The whole lot was in that duvet cover. I thought it was a bit strange how nothing was tumbling. So we started it on the third rinse and we'll see what happens. I thought something was a bit odd with the way it was tumbling. I couldn't see towels or anything. So yeah, stopped and restarted it. Well, that was a bit, a bit odd. I'll just switch on the light all the time. You can see the floor's been wet a bit. I've dried it up, but... That's crazy. Strange there. This is officially the latest that this machine has been on. It's 21 minutes past midnight and I'm using this machine. Next time I do bedding and towels together, I'll close the buttons on my duvet. Obviously, if that's happening and nothing's getting a good rinse or, you know. Very weird how that happened. Here we go, almost reached full level. Now. Yeah. I tried stuffing some towels on top of the bedding as well, I think because I put the bedding in last, really. Is it, try is it trying to do it again? Tumble? No. Could be that because I'm sure about it. Feet are wet now. Intermediate spin. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, 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 we got a bit of good. No, oh my god. Whoa! He just like can't make up its mind. Either way, that is unbalanced. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, that's not balanced all right. It taking in the conditioner. Now, as we're now filling on the final rinse, the lovely tropical punch conditioner's gone in. Just waiting to reach top level now. Maximum level. 20 second now. There we are. Exactly 0 30. Look, on my stove, look, 0 30. Yeah, if you want to know who that is on my phone, it's Annette Funicello. She's a famous actress in the film from, well, from the 60s as well. She's starred in a lot of uh, surfing. favourite part of the cycle. Here we go, final spin. Let's see what the verdict is. This is what, where we wake the neighbours. Especially if it's on balance. Can't really see. Um, I think we're balanced. About. I oh know, far from it. But I don't know if I'll move though. I want to get the final spin in the dark, I like that. Actually, 
Shall we? Let's keep it on, on, keep it on, on, keep it on. Sudsy. <laughs> That's why I use conditioner with my towels. Otherwise they come out foamy, like they come up soaking themselves. Now I've got to figure out where I'm going to hang all this drawing. I do very dry though, recently, depending on that. Thank goodness most of this though is tea towels, so I can clean them up on the, on the rack. Balance really, I guess, to be honest. Next time I'll probably do I'll probably do a s I'll probably do a smaller load in there. That was probably quite a bit that the whole point took. But it was a nice small load for you guys. Sure. 
quietness resumes again. <laughs> okay, let me just, um, how much easier it is to open. I've got to take the conditioner out, well, the compartment out. God, that's actually, hang on, that was more full of water than it's ever been before. Should be done though. Should be done. Okay, now it's about finding a place for it all to be hung up. That's why I wish it was a washer dryer and I could halve the dry all the bedding. So you can see the shininess on that door. Alright, let's see. Do you know what? That's weird. Everything's come out pretty damn dry. Wow, that's not ever happened in this machine before. Look at all that. I can't believe all that fit in this machine. That's quite amazing, actually. Right. Hey guys, I really hope you all enjoy, um, you all enjoyed these two videos, one of the me and one of the hot point. I've not ever actually done a day like that. So maybe I might do this again sometime this week. I might be doing one, um, well tomorrow I'll be doing a vlog going to Brighton. Um, but aside from that, Oh, got a bit of water there. Um, yeah, I might do another video. Obviously, Saturday will be the British Art Foundation video. If there is something to play with, that is. But aside from that, guys, <coughs> hope you enjoyed. That was time now. Look, you guys can notice down 039. That's the latest I've ever done a wash in the hot point. I'll probably try and do one at 3 o'clock in the morning one day. Yeah. But it wasn't actually on balance on the final spin, so it didn't make a racket like it normally does. Maybe try that with a Hoover Logic next time. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed that, and don't forget to keep it supreme and go with the flow.